Based on current market trends and previous announcement schedules by Qualcomm, it is highly likely that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will be powered by a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or a more advanced chipset. It is possible that a plus or a similarly enhanced version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen May 2nd be used instead, similar to the Galaxy Z Fold 4 which uses a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, providing better performance and power efficiency, although there have been speculations about the Z Fold 5 using the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chip found in the Galaxy S23, the latest benchmarks suggest that the Z Fold 5 is likely to offer a significant performance boost over the Galaxy S23 series, even when using the same chipset. In addition to a potential chipset upgrade, it is also likely that the Z Fold 5 will receive new One UI updates that are specifically designed for its inner display, much like the taskbar that Samsung added to the Z Fold 4's interface. Samsung has also expressed its intent to create software that is better adapted for the 4.3 inner display, which would greatly enhance the user experience. The current challenge with the big inner folding screen is that most apps are designed for use on rectangular displays, particularly during gaming making it difficult to fully utilize the Z Fold's potential. Samsung would benefit from improving the battery life and charging capabilities of their upcoming Z Fold 5. Given the device's limited internal space and need to power two displays, it is unlikely to surpass regular smartphones in terms of battery efficiency. However, we hope to see the Z Fold series progress towards lasting longer than the Galaxy Z Fold 4's current lifespan of 8 hours and 20 minutes and move closer to the standard 10-hour mark achieved by most smartphones. Similarly, Samsung's fastest charging foldable device, the Galaxy Z Fold 4, currently supports charging speeds of up to 25W, allowing for approximately 50% battery charge in 30 minutes. While commendable, it falls short of other Android phone makers who offer charging speeds twice as fast if not faster. While we expect Samsung to introduce upgraded charging technology on their Galaxy S series before the Galaxy Z series, it appears unlikely to feature in the upcoming Galaxy S23. As a result, we remain uncertain about the charging capabilities of the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Samsung is expected to launch the Galaxy Z Fold 5, its latest addition to the line of foldable smartphones, along with a new version of One UI software. The specific version of the software is yet to be confirmed, but it could be One UI 5.1.1, an upgraded One UI 5, or even One UI 6.0. Samsung has already begun testing the new software version using the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 as benchmark devices. Samsung is known for its cutting edge designs and technology and the Galaxy Z Fold series is no exception. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 is expected to come with a host of new features and improvements over its predecessors. Meanwhile, Samsung's One UI platform provides a customized user experience on top of the Android operating system. With features such as Dark Mode, Digital Wellbeing, and Bixby, the fact that Samsung is testing a new version of One UI using the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 shows its dedication to optimizing the user experience on its foldable devices. The new version is expected to bring significant improvements to performance, usability, and feature set. Overall, Samsung's release of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and One UI software is eagerly awaited by smartphone enthusiasts. With its ongoing development efforts, Samsung is committed to improving its products and providing the best possible user experience, continuing to push the boundaries of mobile technology. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 is one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year, and while there's no official word yet on its size and aspect ratio, there have been a few rumors floating around about its design and features, according to recent reports, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will come with two displays, an outer display and an inner screen that folds in half. The outer display is expected to measure around 6.2 inches, while the inner screen could be around 7.2 inches in size. Both displays are likely to use OLED panels and offer a 120Hz refresh rate, as has been the case with previous models. One of the biggest design challenges with the Z Fold series is the crease that appears on the inner screen where it folds in half. Samsung has been working to minimize this issue, and the Z Fold 5 is expected to feature a less visible crease thanks to a new teardrop hinge design. Samsung has reportedly been working on this new hinge design for some time, and it could be a major selling point for the Z Fold 5. Another important aspect of the Z Fold 5's design is the cover screen, which protects the inner screen when the phone is folded shut. 
The cover screen is likely to be protected by the latest version of Gorilla Glass, such as Gorilla Glass Victus 2 or a newer solution that has yet to be announced. In addition to the new hinge design and improved cover screen protection, Samsung may also be looking to acquire foldable displays from BOE for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 series. This would be a departure from previous models, which have relied entirely on Samsung's in-house display arm for their displays. If Samsung does decide to work with BOE, it could lead to more competition in the foldable display market and potentially lower prices for consumers. Overall, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is shaping up to be an exciting addition to the Samsung lineup. While we don't yet know all the details about its design and features, the rumors and leaks so far suggest that Samsung is making some significant improvements over previous models. With a less visible crease, improved cover screen protection, and potentially new display suppliers, the Z Fold 5 could be the best foldable smartphone yet. The Galaxy Z Fold 4's cameras have impressed us, using the same rear sensors as Samsung's older flagship phones, bringing the foldable up to par. It features a 50MP main camera, 12MP ultrawide camera, 12MP 3x zoom telephoto camera, a 10MP outer selfie camera, and a 4MP underdisplay inner camera. Unfortunately, leaker Yogesh Brar suggests that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will retain the same camera specs, 50MP plus 12MP plus 10MP, but will feature new image sensors, which could result in better image quality. A previous leak hinted at an upgrade to a 108MP main camera, similar to the S22 Ultra, and the addition of a 64MP telephoto camera with 2x optical zoom and a 12MP ultra-wide shooter, however. Another leak contradicts these rumors, suggesting that the Galaxy Z Fold 5's camera may remain unchanged, and it may not be possible to add a 200MP main camera like the Galaxy S23 Ultra. According to this latter leak, Samsung was keen to improve the Z Fold 4's cameras, but was restricted by the device's weight. Additionally, it may be time for Samsung to discontinue the under-display inner camera, as the quality of the images produced is not good enough for anything outside of video calls. However, we have no rumors to support this notion, and therefore, assume it will remain. Improving the Galaxy Z Fold 5 with internal storage for S Pen Despite two years of experience with the S Pen on Samsung's Galaxy Z devices, the company has not yet found a way to integrate the stylus into the phone's form factor. While the Galaxy S22 Ultra features a built-in S Pen that enhances its versatility and appeal, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 could benefit greatly from a similar inclusion, which would also increase its perceived value relative to its cost. Thus, providing internal storage for the S Pen in the Galaxy Z Fold 5 would be a welcome and logical improvement for the device, improving the U/X with extended battery life. One of the most desirable improvements for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 would be an extended battery life that can support the device's dual displays for longer periods without requiring frequent recharging. Given the limited internal space, achieving this goal would likely require a more power-efficient chipset that can maximize the device's battery capacity. Therefore, if feasible, such an enhancement would greatly enhance the user experience and convenience by enabling longer and more seamless usage of the phone without the need for frequent charging, less display crease, undoubtedly, a key aspect that many users would like to see improved or removed entirely in the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is the display crease. This noticeable seam can be a distracting and unwelcome sight or sensation when using the device's inner display, particularly when interacting with the interface. To address this issue and appeal to a broader audience, Samsung could strive to make the foldable screen flatter and less obtrusive, as some other foldable phone makers have demonstrated. By minimizing or eliminating the crease, Samsung can demonstrate its commitment to advancing foldable technology and providing a more seamless and satisfying user experience.